The idea was it would be an interdisciplinary department and include epidemiology, industrial hygiene, ergonomics, policy, and safety. What is unique about the department is the range of views and the range of possible interventions into the work site in order to improve it. So that you have epidemiologists looking at the science and you have policy people looking at the politics and those two things combined may produce some changes. A lot of public health is about problem identification and it needs to be done in order to be able to figure out the approaches to solutions. But there isn't a lot in public health which is focused on how you take that problem identification and then act on it because the expertise or the focus isn't generally there. You use other disciplines to get at that. And I think one of the things we found at Lowell was that we could do it. We could be engaged in that. And that the solutions were not simply that there is technology available, but that the implementation of those solutions was not a technical issue. It was very distinctly a political issue, political with a small p. And in order to do that, we had to be actively engaged at the level of building the communities, the, um, the advocates for the interventions so that they actually came into place. And we did evolve a curriculum which was more successfully interdisciplinary, but we also came to acknowledge that ultimately we were going to be more midwives than creators of interdisciplinary program. It was going to be the students we trained who were going to in turn be able to create this interdisciplinary approach. They were looking for solutions, they were looking for alternatives. Many programs look at safety or just ergonomics or, you know, sometimes industrial hygiene. But they are not thinking in, in policy and they are not thinking in all together. And this is what this program has and it is so attractive and it's so needed because outside when you need to come up with solutions, you need to take into consideration all these different aspects. Epidemiology, uh, economics, industrial hygiene, policy, sustainable and clean production. Here we put it into practice to collaborate with the real work environment. This is the unique characteristic of this department. There's a very uh, intentional uh, connection that we have to the Industrial Revolution that started here in Lowell, Massachusetts in the United States. In the very buildings where textile mills started and workers came from all over the globe, we have programs in occupational health, safety, and the environment continuing the work uh, that the mill girls, the mill boys uh, brought here to Lowell, this time making these workplaces healthy and safe. It's given me the, the confidence, it's given me, I would say, the competence, and, and perhaps in many respects it's given me the currency to be able to think about negotiating very good um, safety regimes in the workplace. So if you are passionate about worker health, improving the, the quality of working life, I think all roads lead to Lowell, and there is no question about that. We have a global experience right here in our program in Lowell. This year we have over 23 countries represented by our students and that has grown progressively every year. We have alumni who are running uh, institutes uh, across the globe. We have people working for the country of Slovenia. Matoda Dodic Fikvac is a physician and epidemiologist running the Institute of Occupational Medicine. Uh, Mohammed Omar is a doctoral graduate in cleaner production and sustainability, assisting the uh, Saudi Arabian government building a uh, LEED certified green building city on the Red Sea. Our doctoral graduate Lin Lee in cleaner production and sustainability, doing policy and strategic planning for the World Wildlife Fund. She travels onto the Tibetan plain of uh, China and all over the world, uh, building strategy for world wildlife and saving the panda. <laughs> the intention of the Work Environment Department is to turn out people who will improve the world, and that's what it does. Mm -hmm.